Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Wednesday. It's June 12th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and you can see by looking at our daily chart, another big um, rally day here. Prices rallied strongly early on the CPI news. Uh, at some point, the FOMC news came out, and we took a dive only to recover a good bit of that before the day was over. So we closed, we didn't close on our high, but we closed extremely higher. Uh, we're back up in here getting into the overbought territory again. So a correction before the day was over wasn't uh, completely out of the expectation. So uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. But um, I mean, a lot of times this prices will overshoot this upper band before prices reverse and turn. So we'll just have to see. You can see the last time we got up in here, we stayed up in this uh, band quite a bit before prices finally turned and corrected. So just because we're up there doesn't mean we're going to turn instantly, but it does tell you to get prepared because we're, you know, the market is getting uh, overbought here. We're definitely in overbought territory. So there it is on the daily chart. Let's flip over to the 2000 tick chart and take a look at it and we'll go through the trades. And here it is. This is a CPI news came out and we spiked up, went to this channel. Um, we had a break here. Didn't look like we were going to get a retest, but lo and behold, uh, right around two o'clock or so it rallied. We had, uh, we made a new high and then of course it sold off strongly, kind of chopped around. And uh, again, late in the afternoon, some buying came in and they drove it back up a little bit. Uh, that seems to happen almost daily now. So, uh, but interesting day, a lot of choppy craziness. There's not a lot of trades today. You had to be real careful. Um, of course, you had to be flat during the CPI news. And uh, this FOMC, I tell people, be flat an hour prior. So that means after 12 noon central time, don't take any more trades. And there is a trade that happened just right after noontime. There was a second entry that could have caught some people off guard. I know at least one trader. And um, he asked me my opinion on it. And um, I gave him what I thought. But that was prior to I realized it was after the noontime hour. And if you just followed that rule, it would have kept you out of that trade. Uh, I'll, we'll talk about it when we get to it. But I'm sure if you don't listen and you... And you didn't, you weren't flat at that point in time. You, it could have happened to you as well. Uh, and I also talked about, I, I was kind of guessing at this upper line up here earlier today. Um, looks like it was more right there. And it does fit right there. Um, but, and you do get the break here. And again, it looks like we're not going to get a retest. But sure enough, around 2 o'clock, it rallies up, makes a new high, and then sells off just as strongly as it rallied, uh, even stronger than it rallied up. So, uh, But you had to be flat early on. There wasn't anything. I mean, you can't trade this early. And so you really couldn't start trading until um, after this news came out. And you could, about 7.35, about five minutes after, 7.40. Things have kind of settled down and uh, you could start trading, but I just don't see anything in here. This is all really congested. Uh, same thing here, all really sideways congested. No real setups. Same thing here. Finally, you get, uh, you get a second entry here. Notice prices are working down and um, they break higher. Uh, technically, that's not even a second entry. It's just a, there, there's clearly a hidden second entry there. And it's just a break. Let me zoom in here where we can see this. It's just a break above the, I mean, it's just a retest of the lows here again. Uh, this one's tempting. Um, you could argue you've got a triple test here by here. Um, this one's tempting. The only problem I don't like is we're still in that down channel. So you could get burnt there. Uh, it's one you might you say, hey, maybe on a failed breakout. 
here we didn't we was too congested we didn't really get back to the support and it just kind of takes off there is a first entry second entry right here um you would have had to enter on this engulfing bar i think i'm pretty sure this broke higher first and then turned down and then turned back up and again it just looks real congested right there so um the, so the second entry wouldn't have transpired until it broke above this red bar because you, you broke above then turned down again so when it went back above so there's really no setup on the second entry if you enter um if you enter here you just enter on the first entry and this is just a continuation of of the original move here so uh, again it pulls back the second entry didn't trigger till it broke above that bar then you don't have much room to that it's just too i mean really it should be you should draw it like this right here and there's no entry there you just have to be really careful in this congestion especially on a day like this uh, runs up and the same thing we're just chopping sideways um there is a second entry short right here and with those two bar matching highs you could argue that's a lower high but again it looks congested we are way away from the ema um i mean that's a possibility i'm not going to mark it red by if it would have broke higher yeah maybe you go short there but it didn't um Again, we're just it drops on down, but there's no there's a hidden second entry right here. That's uh, very tempting, but once again, you got this channel working up, and that's the first break. So you could argue there's a close outside the new high all in one bar, but still, it, by this chart, it's only a first entry. You'd have to be trading a uh, hidden second entry, and um, it's just. It's just a dangerous trade. Again, you might be one you say, okay, you know, if you want to be aggressive, maybe. And now you got your break and you're bouncing down there. There is a high or low right here, and you are a good bit away from the EMA. But again, look how congested it is. And you notice it doesn't go far, and then it turns down. And uh, it would have worked, but it's just not a high probability trade. Uh, again, it's one you might argue for green but uh again i think you're better off only because it's so far away from the ema and it's off the key entry point and it is a higher low but uh, there's still reasons to be worried about that trade now you got your first break uh you've got to move down first entry and then it turns lower and turns back up so if it breaks above those two bar matching eyes it's a second entry long uh, and you are expecting a retest here so maybe you take that trade again. I'm not crazy about it, but I'll give it a green. And you can see here we're just kind of, it runs back up. And it does confirm the trend line here, but no setup. You get a lower high here, but look how congested and everything's closing above the EMA. Uh, you just don't get a chance to enter it. And then finally you get a second entry, but this one comes up a little bit short of the trend line. And it does have some stem here. I think it closes in the lower two third, you know, the lower third of this bar. Um, so maybe you take that one. Uh, but we, a few minutes later, you definitely get a um, lower high here again, right off the key entry point and a nice signal bar. I like that one. That's the first one I really like. Um, and that's a nice move down. You get a break, new low. And then we come up. Notice how we, we made a triple test here. This is making lower lows each time. So, again, that's one you might say, okay, there's a triple test. But we're in a downtrend. There's no break of this trend line. You don't really know for sure if this is a range. I mean, this is a channel. I'm sorry, a range going across here. Yeah, we're getting some support, but we're still making lower lows each time. So, it could bounce and turn back down. So I don't really, I think you're counter trend trading there, trying to pick a bottom. Uh, runs back up and again, it turns down right off the key entry point with a very nice signal bar, but it's just the first entry. Um, it's the first, it does close outside the key entry or uh, the, the micro channel and make a new high and it turns down. So for that reason, it's another one you might argue to be green, but it's just not high probability. 
And then, of course, that takes us into the noon. And this is that trade I was talking about. Notice you got a new low and you get a first entry and then you get a second entry. And that's the first close outside um, this trend line. So it's reasonable to say, hey, maybe we go short there. But notice how we're coming up way short. Multiple times we've gone lower here. and We came up short of this lower trend channel line. And so generally... When it comes back, it's probably, especially when it makes another high or low here and you're getting another leg up, it's probably going to get a break outside. It's going to be, it's probably going to go at least as far as what we missed down here. And so if you just kind of measure that, and you probably want to measure from the close, you could measure from the low, but let's just say we measure from the close and you come up here where it breaks out and so you're expecting prices to at least go up to here and but then again you got that resistance across there too so uh, you know that's a trade that could trip somebody up but there's some clues here to say just sit tight and wait on the lower high that's why when you get a close outside something like that unless it's a really strong downtrend and you can see that's not a super strong downtrend I mean we'd want to see it much steeper than that to call it a really strong downtrend. I mean, we're almost working sideways. We really are. You can see the pink. You could be playing the pink, the pink range or the blue channel. They're really both in play there, it seems. So, but it drops on down. Here, here we got it. I don't know if we talked about this one. We got a triple test there now, and uh, it's a lower high. Because you got two legs up, makes and it's right off the key entry point. You got not only the trend channel, but you got the little range as well, and a very nice signal bar. We bounce, and I talked about. Uh, actually, I backed up too much there. Uh, we're in, this is all inside the the twelve o'clock to one o'clock, and it kind of settled down about five minutes after. And you get another really nice signal bar, and a tr you might argue that's a triple test. I think you're pushing your luck. It's, it, it, you know, like I said, it's only five minutes after the news. I just kind of sit tight and wait, and you can see there's nothing in here you can trade. It's just chopping around. There is a second entry long here, but it's again, it's congested. Um, the prices hadn't been able to break much higher there, uh, but it does run on up, and now you get a for sure one two, three, triple test. Uh, again, you're still in this green channel, but you've got plenty of, you've got room back here. And if it's going to come back to the EMA, you got plenty of room. You're really far away from the EMA. And that's when you, if you're going to trade against a trend, which I don't know if I necessarily call this a trend because we're really working sideways almost. So that's, a, I like that one just because it's a triple test. There's plenty of room to get out. And you can see it comes back to the EMA bounces and it actually gives you a first entry, second entry right at the EMA. And we've already had our close outside and new low. And there's plenty of room back to this resistance. So I think you can play the trend, the green channel working up there um, and take that long. Uh, and then, of course, you make your new low and you get this really huge bearish bar. It's so tempting. Uh, but you're just guessing if we're done to the upside here. You need to wait on a lower high. And that comes right here. Uh, again, that signal bar is, I still think it closes in this lower one third. And so I like going short there. And you, and you see it turns into congestion. You had to ride it out, but it works. And then there's another second entry long down here. And you might argue that we've tested that a couple times. But I don't think you could have got in this when it gaps over and takes off. Um, so I don't think you would have got in it anyway. Maybe you argue for it to be green. And maybe your chart's slightly different. And you could have got in the trade. If you could have, I'd say maybe. Um, and, of course, it rallies back up here. and uh, There's a second entry short here, but the signal bars, you can't take that. The lower high doesn't come to way down here. Um, there's just nothing in here. There is a hidden, 
you might argue there's a hidden second entry. There's really more than that because it goes up, down, up, down, up. So I don't even think you could call that a hidden second entry. Uh, maybe a triple triple test. But again, I, I just think you're pressing your luck. Just sit tight. And we keep working lower, but there's just no setups here. And then suddenly it rallies. You could call this a new high and this a first entry, uh, second entry, but the second entry actually triggers right on this bar. And so this would be a third entry. So you can't really count that as a second entry. It looks real congested. Um, I just sit tight. There's a second entry long right here. Notice the new high first entry. And then you got a lower high, so when it breaks above, but the signal bar is no good. You'd like it better if it broke lower too. It doesn't runs on up now you got a channel coming down but you do get a close outside and a new low and then you get a higher low and this is also you run down here and you get a first entry up and it comes back so that's a second entry long a higher low uh, it's the first close outside this trend line uh, you got plenty of room back to that high and it actually goes much higher than that and this is a good example of why you don't try to pick the top because there's two once twice here that it looks like it's going to top out and it just keeps going higher. And same thing here. You could have, finally it does turn down and when it does, it turns down hard. But it could just be another fake out like those right there and you just get trapped and stopped out. So you just have to sit and watch those. Um, that is a really nice move and it's a shame that you can't find a reason to get into that. But There's just, there's no real ar good argument for it. And uh, you get a break here to move to a new low and that takes you into 230. So this, this is a, these FOMC days are often difficult days to trade. There's a few trades in here. Uh, there's probably a couple more you might even argue to be green. I don't know. Um, but they're, they're tough days to trade. And you got to remember to be flat an hour before. And there's a reason we have that rule. Uh, because you get a lot of fake outs and uh, lot, the biggest reason is you don't want to get stuck in a trade and can't get out before one o'clock news comes out. Because I've seen prices get stuck in little channels or ranges like this or congestion or even tighter than that and go for an hour or two before the news comes out. Didn't do that today, but you can see it starts flattening out here around 10 o'clock. And it's a little, you know, there's a little bit of movement in there this time, but sometimes there's not much movement and you got to be real careful. So, uh, after noon time, don't enter a trade because this is what can happen to you because your smart traders are not going to enter that hour before FOM FOMC and they're just sitting on the sidelines. And so the market gets a little, gets a little crazy at times. It does things it might not always do. Um, if you got tripped up there, I mean, it is a second entry. It is the first close outside, but you got some clues here. We couldn't get to the bottom here, 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 and then we made a higher low. So we're now we're making higher highs and higher lows and you might make another higher high, just like it did right there. Or I'm sorry, another higher low and then move to another higher high. So, and you can't risk that, especially this close to one o'clock in that witching hour right before one o'clock on FOMC day. And there, there's a reason most of the brokers raise your margin to full margin on at news time because people get burned all the time and blow accounts and don't have enough money in them and enough money to cover their trade. So that's why a lot of the brokers raise their margin on big item, big ticket news items like that because the traders aren't smart enough and uh, disciplined enough to stick it out themselves. So don't, don't enter during that hour. And these other red ones, you know, 10 or 15 minutes prior is probably good, but uh, be flat on them just as well, especially anything economic wise lately uh, because this market's touchy and it doesn't take much to set it off or send it flying in one direction or another. So keep that in mind. But anyway, there it is for today. 
mostly just a sideways day. I mean, you probably could just call this a range day. I mean, that's what it is. It's just a range day. You can see we, we started going, we set the lows of the range around 7.30, 8 o'clock. And the highs we set around 9.30 and we confirmed them again at a little after 2. And so it's just a range day. Just to kind of help you see it there, I'll change the color on it a little bit. But there it is. It's, it's just a large range day. We had this early morning stuff that shot it up, and then from there it just was sideways all day. So we do have a little bit of a trend up, a trend down, a trend up, and then another trend down, and then this is just junk out here. Um, so there it is. That's how I saw it today. Um, not much else you can say about this day, so we'll wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.